Um, uh, so for those of you who know me, uh, you know, I'm Mike from the Retrolectors. I've been amassing a complete Dreamcast collection for the last seven years of my life. Uh, I went to game swaps, eBay routes, vendors, the whole, you know, kit and caboodle of how to collect a game and how to go about collecting games. And I've documented the series on my channel over the last seven to eight years. And I got down to the very final games, um, but I've uh, decided to actually sell them off. I have a deal brokered later on today. It's actually the guys who are supposed to be coming um, to come pick this up. So this is gonna be a very simplistic, no editing, uh, maybe some color grading because I just can't stand not editing everything because it doesn't look proper for me. But uh, over the last seven years, uh, as I started collecting the Dreamcast, for those of you who started early on and knowing the channel, I started off with my brother-in-law and we were doing a competition between who could finish a collection first. Me going for the Dreamcast and him going for the NES. Uh, about five years in, he stopped for the NES and he actually sold off a bit of his stuff as well over the years. And I continued going for about two or three years longer. I went for, you know, the complete set. And uh, as the years went by, you know, like games, finding it has been a lot harder. The, the going out, finding deals is a lot harder. I'm going the eBay route and kind of just going through the motions. Uh, I've been loving collecting for the Dreamcast. I love the console. It's just for seven years even though my love for it has not changed, the collection of it has. Uh, people have gotten more into the hobby and finding deals a lot harder. Picking up stuff off of eBay is not, you know, the route I wanted to go uh, for this channel, you know, especially documenting a lot of the, the on, on camera, you know, hey, I picked this game up off of eBay and I picked this game up off of eBay and there was no direct uh, correlation with speaking to people. like. That was the whole fun of collecting was going out and meeting people and talking to people about your passion, you know, how far you are in this collection and whatever, whatever. And, you know, I, even though I do that in the videos, in the comment section, it's not the same. It's not the same interaction as you would going face to face with people. And by the end of this whole ordeal and the fact that COVID came into play, face interactions with deals didn't happen as often. Um, so with that being said, me choosing to sell this collection was that wasn't that hard of a deal to make. It was something that, you know, I was deathly in love with, but just finding the time to go about doing it. And I've, I've overlooked a lot of other games, a lot of other consoles over these seven or eight years, because my goal and my focus was directly on completing the Dreamcast. I've overlooked a lot of games for a lot of handhelds or a lot of consoles that I want to collect now and I can't because my goal was solely focused on the Dreamcast. You know, if I put, had any extra money, it was going straight into the Dreamcast. And um, that was like, I felt like a toxic way of actually collecting. Um, I absolutely love the hobby. I love learning a lot of the editing that I've learned from the channel. I've you know, I feel that I've gotten better over the years editing the, for this videos and editing for this channel and showcasing the love for the Dreamcast to many people. But with that being said, I needed to also move on from the collecting aspect of it. I may, you know, continue picking up games I may want for the Dreamcast eventually, but as, going, as far as going for a full Dreamcast set, I think I've, you know, crossed that bridge and I'm I'm long gone from that. I'm not looking forward to going for any complete sets of anything really. Uh, with that being said, I don't know what's going to go on with the channel. Um, I do put other stuff, you know, review other stuff. But as far as Dreamcast content, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that. So if you're here for Dreamcast content, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can look at my past catalogs of videos and maybe get some enjoyment out of that. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing it. Maybe I'll do the GDEMU uh, route for another console. I don't have uh, any methods or knowledge of how to do that. So maybe I might look into that and, you know, get the complete section of games on a hard drive or something like that and put in that on the, and play that on the go that way. 
But with that being said, um, I don't know what's going to happen with the channel. I'm going to be focusing on me and doing a lot of things that I want to do for the channel, videos I want to do, um, you know, different consoles, different ideas that I want to do for the channel. So if you're subscribed uh, for the Dreamcast content and you don't want to stick around, so be it. But just know that I appreciate everybody who's came across this channel and, you know, given me the vote of confidence to get through this, uh, you know, the whole Dreamcast collection saga, as you could say. With that being said, I would like to thank you guys very, very much. Please like, comment, subscribe if that makes any difference to you. Thanks, guys.